Oh, the Bud Light team is having a rough month, aren't they? All right, let's see what we can break down from this. They broke the cardinal rule, know your audience. Bud Light's archetype is the common man, common woman. Joe and Jane Americana. This is backyard barbecue, hardworking, blue collar, like Americana. This is the beer version of Duncan. America runs on Bud Light. And the second that they tried to step into, as altruistic as I believe that their intentions were, this broader, bigger market, they basically turned their backs on the values of this incredible audience that has supported them for decades. And that's going to be incredibly hard for them to recover from. I don't suspect that Bud Light is going to make a full recovery, maybe ever. I think Miller and the rest of the groups that have been waiting in the wings to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bud, uh, Anheuser-Busch are going to run in now, and they're going to steal that mind share, and they're likely to keep it for some time. So going back, you can't, even in the most altruistic sense, turn your back on the things that the core group that buys from you values. And in doing that, they've made a critical mistake. That's a good night, man. Cheers. Cheers. Budweiser presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. This Bud's for you. Let's play everybody's favorite game. What the beer can we drink now? Nope. Negative. Tastes like piss. Sorry, old friend. Owned by the same goddamn company. America. Hey, buddy, you want a beer? Sure, yeah. Bud Light. You know they're talking shit about this on the internet. Don't worry about it. Alright. You know, I've had a long day. Make my day right here. Good. <clears throat> Some. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, babe. This ain't gonna work. I'm downloading Grinder. Before we came in, what is the profile of a beer drinker? Let's actually do that. Yeah. What is the profile of a beer drinker? Yes, welcome back. We have seen a lot with this issue of Boyd Light. And we also, what happened with this is, I think I posted a video about this few hours ago. I went through the comment sections. I realized a lot of things which we'll be looking at that at the end of this video. But there is something that is relating to this that I came across. Yes, according to this article published by The Daily Me, a popular Instagram star, Cut ties with a legend brand after it used a non binary biological male model to advertise its women underwear. Brie, a fashion influencer outspoken about her consecutive views, and now she was cutting ties with a brand after it posted picture of non binary model Jack modeling a red bra panty and Gilda Bell in pose promoting. LGBTQ plus inclusivity. Terra C, who boasts 1.4 million followers on Instagram, said the post was pure misogyny and told Fox News Honeybee had robbed a woman of work by giving art space to a biological male. The company Bow on Instagram previously said it was by woman for women but now read luxury legging brand for all Rasi said she was infuriated by the decisions of the brand which she said she was worked with for three years while wearing about forty thousand dollar worth of their product when you take a look at this you will see what is going on I don't understand what these people are actually doing exactly. They have been calling for boycott for Prudhoe and it's working, but every single day we keep seeing the same thing. I want to know your opinion. What is happening? Really tell me, if you take a look at a picture of a woman like this and a man like this, what will actually attract you to buy this product if this person is selling? I want you to know, 
or what exactly is it that called four out of five is male okay it's not the lgbtq community and then you have to look at the transgender community and they'll say well there's about 1.5 million transgenders in america that identify as a transgender no there's not the number is so much smaller because beer drinkers can't be 13 years old gen z true yeah beer drinkers have nice. to be what above 21 you have to be a dummy <laughs> of a VP of marketing to say it's true. us targeting to transgender community, more men are going to want to drink beer. You yes. Now taking you back into this issue of Bud Light, like I said at the beginning of this clip, you will realize what he said here is nothing but the truth. You can say you are targeting young people then... When we realize from the statistics, the people drinking this product, they are mainly elderly people. And you say you want to target young people which are not even there to drink your product. When you look at the majority of people that are getting up, that they want to transition, they want to do this, they are mainly young people. You will hardly see elderly people getting up, they want to do this, they want to do that. It is difficult. This lady made the worst decision I have ever seen. There was a video yesterday that I put out here concerning this lady. She went viral and went off on people posting videos, memes about boy light. I don't understand why she had to do this. Because going after people because they're simply struggling to pass a message is a problem. Struggling to create a problem where this seems to be known. I'll be unfriending people. I'll be doing this. If you want to do something, just do it silently. People should not know what you have decided to do. Because it's unnecessary, you know, to get up and you are ranting on social media. When I saw this, it is extremely disturbing. One more Mother King commercial or a meme. I should say not a commercial, but a meme. If I see one more <coughs> meme about Bud Light, I am going to start drinking. I have had it. I have had it. I have friends on Facebook that I want to unfriend because they keep posting. They posted a picture of Rambo. They called her Ram Ram Girl or something. And they drinking a Bud Light. I mean, my God, getting over it already. Holy balls! Just be, now, this Dylan got um, not a contract, but uh, agreement or whatever with Tampax. Uh, everything. Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, stupid. I know. They're so stupid. The more they do, the more money they're going to make. This lady is saying people doing this, they are stupid. They will make money. If people do that, it is insane. It's like she's not even following up to know what is happening. I'm doing update on this topic every single day. She has not recently seen this series of Bud Light. When this started, the New York Times never did an article on what was happening. I recently came across this article published a few hours ago at Flab list bitter after taste for Bud Light and warning for big business. Bud Light marketing effort with a transgender influencer has put it in the center of the cultural war in a way that no company could possibly want to be one observer said. Buy yours online in 42 states at ultrarightbeer.com. I'm a businesswoman. The corporations. We across America.